Welcome to the Windows Club. If the Windows File Explorer crashes, freezes or has stopped working and you are in a problem then either read through this article on the Windows Club or simply watch this video I'll guide you to the resolutions. The first solution is to disable the preview pane. This is easy. In the File Explorer menu, when we press Alt and P this opens the preview pane. Now I don't have anything to preview but if you have anything all you need to disable it is press Alt and P again. The next solution is to disable thumbnails. To disable thumbnails go back to the folder click on these three dots here which says see more select options go to the view tab you'll find an option which says always show icons never thumbnails. Check this one, click on apply and then on ok. The next solution is to disable UAC or user account control temporarily. For this, search for user account control in the window search bar and click on this option which says change user account control settings. In this window, change it to never notify and then click on ok. This will ask for administrator permissions, please click on continue. After this, you can consider disabling the DEP. All you need to do is copy this command from the website, search for command prompt in the Windows search bar and click on run as administrator to open the elevated command prompt window. Paste the command in the elevated command prompt window and hit enter to invoke it. After this, you can launch the folder in a separate process. Go to the folder again. Click on these three dots, select options, go to the view tab, scroll down to this option which says launch folder window in a separate process and check it, click on apply and then on ok. After this, you can check for installed add-ons on your system and especially the shell x view one, disable them temporarily to isolate the issue. The next solution would be to run the system file checker scan. Search for command prompt in the window search bar and click on run as administrator to open the elevated command prompt window. In the elevated command prompt window, type the command sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter to invoke the sfc scan. After this you can consider updating the graphics drivers of your system. Go to intel.com and use the intel search bar at the top right corner to search for the latest graphics drivers. It says graphic drivers for intel compute card and basically they are the usual graphic drivers. Download them and install them on your system. The ninth solution would be to troubleshoot in clean boot state. It is simple. Press the windows key in the R button to open the run window. Type the command msconfig and hit enter. To open the system configuration window, go to the services tab, check the box associated with hide all Microsoft services. If any other service is checked, click on disable all and then select apply, finally click on ok and then restart the computer. After this, you can run the windows memory diagnostics tool. Press the windows key and the R button together to open the run window, type the command mdsched.exe and hit enter to open the windows memory diagnostic tool. Click on this option to restart now and check for problems. Isn't this easy and interesting? If you have any doubts, please go to the original article on the windows club, scroll down to the comment section and write your query. We will surely answer to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.